530, Local 10 News has learned of a data breach investigation focused on the village of Pinecrest. Local 10's Ian Margle live in Pinecrest now with the story. Ian. Yeah, Victor, we do know that the village of Pinecrest is dealing with a data breach that could have put the personal information of a lot of people that work here at risk. But no matter how we tried to speak with city leaders today, we didn't get any straight answers. A data breach in Pinecrest now being investigated by law enforcement. A resident informed on the matter telling us the breach only affects employees of the village, not the general public, and that staff here at Village Hall have been receiving information about what they need to do in response. On Monday, we tried getting a hold of Pinecrest Mayor Joe Corradino. This is Joe Corradino. Please leave a message. But he wouldn't speak to us in person. Finally, sending us an email saying, quote, relative to this topic, it would be inappropriate to talk at this time as we cannot confirm or deny any ongoing investigation. Other village council members directed us to the city spokesperson who gave us the same answer, that she could not confirm or deny an investigation is going on. And as for the FBI, more of the same. A spokesman telling us it is their policy to never confirm or deny the existence of an investigation. And we did receive this statement as well from a company that provides software to Pinecrest. It says, quote, Tyler Technologies is aware of an investigation in South Florida that involves law enforcement agencies. We are providing our full cooperation in support of the investigation. Now, again, we can say that there is a breach here in the village of Pinecrest. We are trying to speak with city leaders. We want to speak with city leaders, but no matter how many times we tried today, they continued to dodge our questions instead of being transparent and just telling us what exactly is going on. As soon as we get an update, we'll be sure to bring it to you. We are live in Pinecrest. Ian Margle, Local 10 News. We know you're